St. Patrick's Day is coming up, so you know what that means. Drunk stream time, yes! Drinking streams can be a really fun way to engage with your community, but you have to be really careful because it can negatively impact your audience's relationship with you, and each platform has a terms of service whenever it comes to drinking that you need to abide by. So if you wanna run a successful drinking stream, stick around and we will talk about it. This was really good. Do you guys like oatmeal stouts? What's up guys, it's Ashley Christ and welcome back to my channel where I teach you to pursue your dreams and learn to stream. And if that's something that you're interested in learning more about, hit that red subscribe button down below so we can hang out more and you can get more videos like this. So the first thing you need to do if you're gonna run a successful drinking stream is to check out the terms of service on the platform that you're on to make sure that you are abiding by the rules and your stream is not going to get in trouble for it. Whenever it comes to Twitch, they do have an anti-self-destructive, self-harm clause that says that any behavior that can harm you is prohibited, which includes excessive drinking. Now a really common stream in the Twitch community is taking donations for shots. Okay, and there's some back and forth about whether or not this is okay. In the Twitch Terms of Service, it says that excessive drinking is not okay because it is considered self-harm. But the question is, is accepting donations for shots self-harm. We're going to talk about that a little bit later in the video. For now, let's jump over to Mixer and check out their terms of service. They actually have a self-harm section that specifically says streamers are not allowed to try and get things to harm themselves from their viewers, and they specifically call out donations for shots. So donations for shots on Mixer, 100% in the terms of service against the rules. They also call out age-restricted items, and they say that they will comply with law enforcement so you can actually get in trouble from the law if you're breaking the law on Mixer. So be careful. YouTube gaming is actually the most relaxed out of the three. This one doesn't specifically mention drinking at all. They just say that they are against anything that is illegal and can cause excessive harm. Then they call out things like instructional bomb making, choking abuse, or other weird hazards like that, but nothing about drinking. So let's talk about how to actually run a successful drinking stream. The first thing that you absolutely need to do is know your limits and don't drink excessively on any platform, not only because that's in the rules, but also because you can negatively impact your relationship with your audience. And that sucks. You don't want to lose that trust and you don't want new people that come in to see you as this messy, sloppy person. If you are the leader of a stream, people will be looking up to you in some fashion whether that's your gameplay or because you're super witty and if those if that value is interrupted and people aren't getting that from you they won't near they won't necessarily be as interested or as um, serious about your community as they were before now some streamers can pull this off really well because their brand is to be out there and to be crazy and so they just get hammered on stream and that's just who they are but that may not necessarily be your brand so don't feel like you have to do that to run a successful drinking stream it's all about finding that balance that works for you personally i don't really like watching streams where i see someone just slurring their words and they can't really play the game and they're just getting messy like that's not fun for me to watch that really hurts my heart and a lot of people are like that too so you want to be considerate of your potential potential viewers experience of you for the first time. Next thing you want to do is, of course, obey the law. That's in the terms of service everywhere. If you are breaking the law, the platform is more than likely going to report that and you could get in trouble with local authorities. So be very careful. Don't encourage any kind of illegal activity from minors either because that can be seen as illegal. That can be seen as you inciting them to do something harmful, which can get your content removed. So be careful about that. They are little babies. Protect them. Hmm. 
The next thing you want to do is drink a lot of water. This isn't really a new tip for those of you that drink consistently, but make sure that after each alcoholic drink you have, you have a glass of water after it. It just makes it easier for you to continue drinking, you don't get dehydrated, and you don't wake up with a terrible hangover in the morning that prevents you from working on your content the next day. There have been times, I'm not excited to say, where I have been too hungry over to stream and that's not the kind of person that I want to be for my community. I want to be somebody who is consistent and is on time and if you're like that as well you might consider not going too crazy when it comes to the drinking streams. Okay, now let's go back to this idea that we were talking about earlier in this video which is should you accept donations for shots? The safe conclusion to that question, the safe answer, no, you should not. Now this is a really common practice, especially on Twitch, and I know a lot of people are going to kind of be sad whenever they hear that, but it is something that even the staff are divided on, right? Even if you're looking for answers from them, some people say that it's okay because it's not specifically in the terms of service. Some people say that it is not allowed. It depends on who you talk to, which means that it's hard to really give a 100% solid answer about this, but what you need to know is that it can be considered excessive drinking, and if there is staff out there that is against it, they could see that on your channel and they could remove your content. So if it, the potential is there for your content to be removed, I would say take the safe road and just don't do it. But that's up to you. It's your content and you need to decide what is more important to you. And I mean, if you want to just get super trashed on stream, apparently you can just stream on YouTube gaming because they have no rules against it anyways. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Don't do that. But really, where's the rule against alcohol in the YouTube Terms of Service? Because I couldn't find it. Be safe when it comes to your drinking streams. Don't hurt yourself and don't drink too excessively, but have fun with your community. Let me know your favorite drink down below in the comments. And if you're new here, slap me on the face right below this video for videos every Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, and Sunday at 4 p.m. Central on how you can pursue your dreams and learn to stream. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!